there. I just want to remind you and me that life is all about connecting on a heart level. Life is always, I mean, life is about connecting on a heart level to yourself and to other people. So remember that. It's probably the most important thing I could almost say. Along with awareness and wisdom, coupled and combined with awareness and wisdom. So you're not living a brainwashed life about certain certain religious beliefs, to be honest. There's some really nice, loving, caring, kind and compassionate religious people and I really take my hat off to them. But at the same time, they're sort of believing wholeheartedly the whole script of the entire religious book as if it's like everything is written by God or by that messenger when it actually wasn't written by the messenger such as the Bible it's been totally like it's loads of correct things but there's loads of incorrect things I salute the correct things but I see and recognize and don't pretend that the incorrect stuff isn't altered some is taken out <laughs> and others is just like added in <laughs> but uh, just remember keep your eyes open the fifth agreement by there's a book called the fourth agreement the fifth agreement is stay open be skeptical but stay open so he added that in it's true it's truthful it's true it's important so he, love will heal your heart in any situation and heal and bring you perspective and more clarity uh, living by the empowered conscious aware heart and mind is the way to go in life um, Connect it to yourself and to other people and to life all around you. Connect it. This is the tree I was kissing earlier today, you know, I'm picking some beech nuts here. I am, yeah, loads of beech nuts. And I just had that thought and I thought I'd make this video, you know, even though I'm just in the middle of picking some beech nuts. So. so that's what life is really. Remember, it's like very much all about that in many ways. Stay, it's, it's about connected, being living and connected to your heart. Remember that, maybe put it on your wall, remind yourself. As I say, it's not about what you know, it's about what you remember and can apply or practice. So. And habits, you, you become good at anything from practice. Um, as they say, and I love the saying, the master has failed more times than the student has even tried. That's very important. You know, Michael Jordan says he's missed thousands of hoops, he's missed the winning shot for a game dozens of times. He's failed and done loads of stuff, you know, like not worked, but he's the most successful and best sort of basketball player ever. So you have to try, take chances, guys. People, when interviewed on their deathbeds or in nursing homes, and what they say about their life is they don't say what they wish. They don't say what they wish they hadn't done. They say they wish what they wish they had. What they say, um, they wish they had done what they hadn't tried. They wish they had taken more chances. They wish they had done stuff, tried it. So it's not for them what they did do. It's about what they didn't do that they wish they had done. So remember that. Don't don't waste or squander your day or your life. You know, like you know what I mean. Like some, I often have days where I don't don't seem to do too much. Like just doing stuff on the internet, maybe just to help people. Part of my work, um, spreading inspiration, being creative, etc. But like, not every day is going to be a day where you're doing like cartwheels, jumping off the Empire State Building, <laughs> you know, doing scuba diving into the great depths of the coral reef oceans of the, the dark side of the planet. <laughs> okay, that didn't make a lot of sense there, but I was just, just trying to convey a feeling. <laughs> it's okay to have those days, you know, but uh, do try make bring in meaning and heart and authenticity, genuineness, connection and love and appreciation and gratitude, you know, all into your life. Even a little bit more is good. And just keep practicing and become more like the expert, remember? Not the beginner who doesn't even, who's afraid to take chances. So. You only live this life once, don't forget. So I'll leave you with that and I'll leave you and love you and stay well and uh, look after your healing, look after your health and your diet, your sleep and your rest, your connection with other people, your gratitude. Look after mindful speech and mindful behavior, careful, conscious, behavior and speech and be, be careful and conscious and deliberate about what you think and what you do where you go who you spend time with how long you spend in certain places and and look after all parts of your life and remember the importance also of physical things and money too and grounded spirituality so 
Try to be creative with your dreams and your passion, your gifts. We're all beautiful, special and unique, um, amazing, divine. We're all loving and I love that and I love to say that. It's just, even people who hurt us, they're just trying to avoid pain or they're, they're in pain. So don't let that stop you from opening and living from your heart or your truth. See the truth of the situation and the truth will set you free emotionally and to go forward in life in freedom and lightness. So I ask you to befriend me on Facebook if you want to become more better friends and know me more better intimately, carefully. Send me a private message. I'd love to connect if you're interested and it's from your heart and true if you feel like it. Or otherwise, of course, you're always welcome to share any of my things, be it this video or not this video, any any of my things whatsoever. To share on the message for the people and to, just to help. Life when you die, it's not about what you did. It's not about, I mean, it's not about a lot of the stuff you did or it's not about how much money you made. It's about love and that's what near-death experiences tell us and remind us about. It's about love. It's about the deeper stuff in life. The deep, deeper, deeper, proper, deeper stuff in life. For me, it's about excitement and joy, which is a similar, same thing. Excitement and joy and love and learning. So that's what I do in life. If if it's not about, if it's not exciting or joyful, or it's not about love, I won't make it. I won't make the video. I won't make the picture for sharing on the internet like I do on Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook. I'm not gonna do a job unless it's only temporary or unless I bring heart, excitement, joy and creativity and higher spirits to the job. But I'm gonna try and keep finding and living my highest excitement and joy and living from my highest love in life and I'll keep learning as much as I can also because learning is meaningful it's growing and it's important so I'll leave you with that and I pay you respect for watching this video and spending this time watching this video with me and if you haven't already you're welcome to subscribe and otherwise thank you for everyone who's liked and otherwise shared or being kind and loving and supportive to me or my partner Sally in the past. So if you want more help or more information about me or what I do, please have a look at the links below and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your kind thoughts and your kindness. I'll see you again in another video. God bless. Take care.